What if I told you that a simple eye scan could reveal the secrets of your heart's health? Imagine having the power to predict your risk of cardiovascular disease, heart attacks, and strokes just with a picture of your eye. Sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? In this video, I'm going to discuss the cutting edge technology that's unlocking the secrets of your heart through your eyes. And the craziest part is, a simple eye scan could also reveal so much more about your health. I'm going to explain how scientists around the world are now using eye scans to diagnose diseases like autism, Alzheimer's dementia, and Parkinson's disease. By the way, I'm Dr. Michael Chua. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist with Puente Hills Eye Care, and I make videos to help you see better, look better, and feel better. Recently, Google CEO Sundar Pichai revealed that their artificial intelligence team had made a monumental breakthrough. AI is going to impact many, many fields. Your same eye scan turns out holds information with which we can predict the five-year risk of you having an adverse cardiovascular event heart attack or strokes. An AI-powered eye scan that can predict cardiovascular events like heart attack or stroke. This powerful technology has the potential to disrupt how we've been doing things in the medical world. With AI's potential to usher in non-invasive early detection of disease, this innovation carries with it the promise of elevated patient outcomes and a paradigm shift in healthcare. By harnessing the power of artificial intelligence, these simple eye scans can deliver more precise health information than expensive blood tests, MRIs, and ultrasounds. So how does Google's AI-powered eye scan work? Basically, it's an algorithm that was fed hundreds of thousands of retinal photos, as well as information about the patients that the photos came from. For example, the researchers would show the algorithm a retina photo like this, and tell the algorithm, this photo belongs to a 70-year-old male who smokes and went on to suffer a heart attack three years later. The researchers repeated this process hundreds of thousands of times, until the artificial intelligence taught itself to detect specific patterns in the retinal photos that would allow it to predict the patient's age, sex, whether they smoke, and health condition. You see, one of the fundamental skills us ophthalmologists learn during residency is to recognize how the blood vessels in the retina change in people with medical problems. For example, patients with a history of high blood pressure develop torturous or windy blood vessels that we can see on examination. Or patients with diabetic eye disease can develop little bulges in their blood vessels, which we call microaneurysms, or they can have bleeding or swelling in their retinas. These changes can signal trouble. Almost on a daily basis, I have patients come to see me for blurry vision, and I'm the first person to diagnose them with hypertension or diabetes just based on their eye exam. These patients often mention that they haven't seen their primary care doctor or internist in years. But Google's AI takes this analysis a step further. Through artificial intelligence, Google's eye scan algorithm is able to detect specific patterns in a patient's retinal vasculature that's seemingly undetectable to the human eye, even the world's best trained ophthalmologist. It's somehow able to analyze all the tiny blood vessels in the retina, as well as features of the optic nerve to accurately diagnose cardiovascular problems way before any symptoms appear. Google's AI algorithm wields impressive precision and accuracy. Through its eye scan, it can predict the development of cardiovascular events such as heart attack or stroke and death as accurately as the most advanced and expensive blood tests that exist. And that's a big deal, because when it comes to cardiovascular disease, early detection and intervention can save lives. Although there's incredible potential with this technology, we also need to make sure that there's a rigorous verification process before it's fully implemented in the real world. Remember, this AI platform is trained to recognize patterns that the human eye can't even detect. So if ophthalmologists or cardiologists can't verify the findings of the eye scan, who will? We need a verification system to ensure that this AI technology has the highest standards of accuracy, but also proves its reliability in diverse clinical settings. This helps to maintain the safety of patients, which should always be the number one priority with any new technology. So let's go into a little further detail into how exactly Google was able to create their AI scanner. They summarized their methods in a paper published in Nature Biomedical Engineering. But briefly, they used a data set which included retinal photos and key health information such as age, sex, and blood pressure on 284,335 patients. They then fed that data into an AI deep learning model. The model studied specific patterns in the eyes, particularly the vascular regions in the retina, as well as the appearance of the optic nerve to generate predictions about each patient's age, gender, smoking status, BMI, and blood pressure. The Google team reported that their AI model was able to predict people's age plus or minus five years, 78% of the time. It predicted systolic blood pressure plus or minus 15, 72% of the time, and BMI plus or minus five points, 80% of the time. Okay, so from an eye scan that can be taken in a few seconds, this AI algorithm can predict all of this health information about you. The next question the researchers asked was, okay, can we use this data to predict whether you'll suffer from or perhaps die from a major cardiovascular event like a heart attack or stroke in the next five years? So they trained a model to factor in all this information from the eye scan to compute the exact percent chance that someone will go on to suffer a devastating heart attack or stroke within the next five years. And well, 
they were successful. They reported that their algorithm had just as much accuracy and precision in determining the risk of cardiovascular disease as one of the standard risk calculators we use in doctor's offices, which is called the score risk calculator. So let me take a step back. How do we doctors currently assess a patient's risk for heart attack or stroke? Well, we use these calculators such as the score risk calculator or the American College of Cardiology's atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease or ASCVD calculator. And in order to use these calculators, the doctor needs to feed the formula lots of information like patient sex, age, race, blood pressure, cholesterol blood work results, as well as history of diseases like diabetes, smoking, and hypertension. Once all that information is given to the calculator, it spits out a percentage risk for the patient to suffer from a cardiovascular event like a heart attack or stroke in the next 5 or 10 years. The doctor can then use this risk score to decide how they'll manage a patient's health condition. For example, if a doctor learns that the patient sitting in front of them has an 80% risk of developing cardiovascular disease in the next few years, then that doctor may be more likely to be more aggressive with controlling that patient's blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood sugar levels. But as you can see, with the way we currently do things, the doctor needs to confirm the patient's history. For example, do you have diabetes? Are you a smoker? Do you have a history of hypertension? They then need to review the patient's blood pressure from the office visit, and they also need to order and review a lipid panel, meaning blood work, so they can input the patient's cholesterol levels into the calculator. Once they have all this information, then they can determine a patient's cardiovascular health. But with the introduction of Google's AI scan, you can get all of this information just by snapping a picture of the patient's retina. So let me put this into context. In our current system, you first need to go to the doctor's office, then you talk to the nurses and the doctor about your medical history, then you get your blood pressure checked, and then after that, the doctor orders your blood work, you go over to the lab, you get your blood drawn, wait for the lab to send your doctor your results, then wait for your doctor to put all this information together to assess your health. Then you can come back to your doctor's office to talk about all the findings. With this new method, a technician would snap a picture of your eye and well, that's it. The picture gets fed to the algorithm and poof, you have your risk score. And if your doctor knows this information about your cardiovascular risk, then you can have a more detailed and nuanced conversation about managing your health. So this new method is faster, more convenient, cheaper, requires less people, and requires less visits compared to the current standard. And it's just as accurate. Are you beginning to see why technology like this really has the potential to change the way medicine will be practiced going forward? Now, it's important to mention that while this AI research has yielded encouraging outcomes, we also have to consider its limitations. Initially, Google's AI algorithm only use images with a standard 45 degree field of view of the patient's retina. In the future, it should also be explored whether these algorithms could be fed retinal photos with a narrower or wider field of view. Another important factor to consider is who will oversee the algorithm's results. Like we mentioned before, doctors may use the AI's predictions to decide how they want to manage a patient's health conditions. But then, who accepts the responsibility or liability if the prediction is wrong? Still though, this breakthrough of using eye scans to diagnose health conditions has opened up a world of possibilities. In fact, AI-powered eye scans are already being used to diagnose diseases like dementia, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, and even schizophrenia. By the way, if you like videos like this one, consider subscribing to my optimized newsletter to get the latest science-backed information on how to improve your vision and health delivered straight to your email. You can visit my website michaelchuamd.com to sign up. In Hong Kong, for example, the same groundbreaking approach that involves using artificial intelligence and machine learning was used to scan the retinas of school-aged children to detect early signs of autism. Autism is a condition that affects how children behave, interact socially, and communicate. Researchers gathered 46 research subjects with autism from local special needs schools as well as 24 control subjects from the same local community. They then captured high-resolution images of the subject's retina then fed these images into an AI algorithm. Then the AI model analyzed various factors like the intricate layers of the retina tissue and blood vessels to identify the children at risk of autism. And the results are impressive. They reported 95.7% sensitivity and 91.3% specificity in correctly diagnosing children with autism. I mean, that's incredible accuracy with just a simple eye test. This early detection opens the door to early intervention and treatment programs, which can make a world of difference in a child with autism. And these powerful eye scans don't just stop at the detection of autism. In another recent study, Researchers discovered that by analyzing detailed images of the retina, and of course with the help of AI, they could identify unique features that set apart individuals with mild cognitive impairment or basically early stage dementia from those with normal cognitive function. They used advanced imaging techniques such as optical coherence tomography or OCT and OCT angiography or OCTA. And after feeding a bunch of samples to an AI algorithm, it was able to detect subtle changes in the retina that could distinguish 
mild cognitive impairment from normal cognitive function. The researchers reported an impressive 79% sensitivity and 83% specificity with their model. Currently, distinguishing mild cognitive impairment and diagnosing early stage dementia is a challenge for doctors. We have tools like the Montreal Cognitive Assessment or the MOCA, which is an in-office test that evaluates things like your memory, visual spatial function, and attention, but it's far from perfect. Doctors and researchers have also tried more advanced diagnostic methods like brain MRIs, PET scans, and even sampling cerebrospinal fluid. But these methods can be invasive and expensive. By comparison, retinal imaging is cheaper, non-invasive, and widely available. This is what gives this technology so much potential as a way to screen patients and assess the neurological health at a wide scale. Researchers are also using a similar technique for earlier detection of Parkinson's disease. This is a research paper published in the journal Neurology in August 2023, in which researchers use retinal imaging to detect Parkinson's disease in patients several years before clinical presentation. Over the last few years, there has been an explosion in research exploring the power of AI and retinal imaging in detecting disease. It will be interesting to watch how this technology will change the way medicine is practiced in the upcoming years. Those simple eye scans, which are already being done in ophthalmologists' offices throughout the world, have loads of diagnostic information about your heart, your brain, and your mind in ways that we are only beginning to understand. I hope you find this information helpful. If you live in the Los Angeles, Orange County, or Inland Empire area and want to get your eyes checked out, feel free to visit our website or give our phone number a call to make an appointment today. I'm Dr. Michael Chua with Puente Hills Eye Care. See you next time.